In this demo, we will show how we can access a Schneider Electric M340 PLC remotely using NetBiter Remote Access. This enables us to do configuration and debugging without actually being on site. We're assuming that a NetBiter gateway is already connected to my PLC in the remote location and that a NetBiter Argos account has been configured for remote access. As a PLC programmer, I run the NetBiter Quick Connect software on my computer, which will establish the secure tunnel to the PLC. Quick Connect is downloadable from netbiter.com or my Argos account. I log in using the username and password I have received from my NetBiter administrator. I can see that a system has been created, so I click on this and then move on to Add New Device since I want to add my PLC. In this example, we choose Custom from the list and name it Schneider Electric M340. I now select Add Device. Since this is the first time I'm connecting, I need to specify the IP address I want my computer to have on the remote local area network. I do this by adding a new channel, a new connection channel that I want to access for my PLC. I want to establish a network bridge in this case. I can now add my IP address under a general network bridge configuration. I want my computer to have the IP address 192.168.0.40 on the remote local area network, since I know that this address is available. I also need to enter my NetMask. I now click Connect and the system starts establishing the tunnel. The channel is now open and these addresses have been saved. This means that the next time I want to access the PLC remotely, I can just start Quick Connect, select my PLC and click Connect. I can now access my PLC using my regular PLC configuration software. In this case, we're using Unity Pro XL from Schneider Electric. Before we start configuring, it's a good idea to check the PLC addresses, which I do under PLC and Set Address. Here I can check that my IP addresses are OK. I can click Test Connection and see that we're successfully connected using NetBiter Remote Access. With the remote tunnel now in place, I can do configurations just as if I was connected to the PLC on site. For example, I can choose PLC again and transfer a previously programmed project to my PLC. By clicking Transfer, the data is transferred to my remote PLC over my remote access connection. When I'm finished with my configuration, I simply exit the PLC configuration software and close my remote connection.